Today we will be learning about angles and triangles when it comes to a fourth grade geometry unit. The first step to understanding geometry is understanding the three types of angles. The first angle we have is a right angle. A right angle is equal to exactly 90 degrees. A hint, there's always going to be a square angle if it's a right angle. In the middle, we have an acute angle. An acute angle is less than a right angle, so it would be between 0 degrees and 89 degrees. Lastly, we have an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is greater than a right angle, but it never reaches a straight line, which is 180 degrees. So an obtuse angle measures between 91 degrees and 179 degrees. When measuring angles, it's very valuable to understand how to use a protractor. A protractor is a simple tool that you use when you are measuring angles. When you use a protractor, you need to put the vertex of the angle in between the middle of the protractor, as seen here. Also, you'll be using the inside measure, not the outside measures. For example, this green angle is equal to 60 degrees. It would not be 120 degrees because that's the outside angle. If you're ever not sure, another way to understand is to look at the shape of the angle. As you can see, this green angle is less than a right angle or less than a 90 degree angle. And as we learned earlier, an acute angle is smaller than a right angle so the 60 degrees is a much more reasonable choice than 120. Next we have fractional turns. A right angle is also known as a quarter turn, which is just 90 degrees. A half turn, which is also known as two right angles or two quarter turns, is equal to 180 degrees. It can also be seen as a straight line. Then we have three quarter turns, which are just three right angles that equal 270 degrees. And lastly, we have a full turn, also known as four right angles, which add up to 360 degrees. If you're ever not sure, you would just add 90 continuously until you get to the full turn. Also important to understand the values of these two shapes on the left. A triangle, all the sides will always add up to 180 degrees, no matter how it looks. Also, a circle will always add up to 360 degrees. Now these are the basic triangles, the more general, which are just similar to the, the angles that we learned about earlier. To the very right, we have a right triangle. Another hint, you can see the square angle that we talked about earlier, just to ensure that you know that is a right triangle. In the middle, we have an acute triangle. As you see, the angle is 65 degrees, which is less than 90 degrees. And to the very left, to the very right, we have an obtuse angle, which means this is an obtuse triangle. Now just a note, you can never have two obtuse angles in an obtuse triangle, otherwise the shape would never close. The end points would never meet, which would not create a triangle. To be more specific, we have these three types of triangles that you'll learn as a fourth grader in geometry. First, we have scaling triangles. Scaling triangles have zero congruent sides. Congruent sides are basically that they are the same size. So with scaling, none of the three sides will be the same. We have isosceles triangles. With isosceles triangles, they have two congruent sides. So they'll have two sides that are the same size. And lastly, we have equilateral triangles. With equilateral triangles, you can again see a hint as equal. They're all equal to each other. They all have all three congruent sides. Great job. So through this lesson, we have learned the basics of fourth grade geometry with angles and triangles. Now, if you'll click the quiz button above, you can go ahead and take a quick quiz to see how you did. Good job.